What's up, freak bitches, wherever you may be, however you may be listening. Thank you for giving me just a few minutes of your time. So uh, one piece of news that broke today is Takashi 6 9 another nobody rapper that nobody knew until he had done something stupid and uh, decided to get caught and narc a bunch of his buddies out, was sentenced today to uh, what I think is a joke of a sentence. Let me give you a little bit of the details. Some of the stuff that uh, the judge was saying in his statement. This is brought to me by the Inner City Press. The judge started out by saying, and this is Judge Engelmeyer, Mr. Hernandez, I've given, I've given it a lot of close thought, including your cooperation. The following are my thoughts, and this is going to take a little while. Boy, did it. It took something like 45 minutes or an hour for the judge to bloviate on this thing. Uh, I cannot agree with your counsel that time served is appropriate. In my judgment, your conduct is too violent and selfish to make 13 months reasonable. You will not be going free today. The only logical thing the judge said through this entire diatribe. For the better part of a year, you were a part of a violent gang so that there is no misunderstanding. Here is a specific account of those acts. First came Trippy Red. You decided to shoot at a member of Trippy Red's entourage. So right there, we've got a gun crime. When you pled guilty, you attempted, you admitted to attempting to commit murder on April 3rd, 2018 with a record label in Texas. You drove to 40th Street and 8th Avenue. Cafano Jordan robbed the musicians at gunpoint. So he's also been a part of a robbery at gunpoint. That's a felony. Then at the Barclays Center, you and Casanova were beefing. Your song, Billy, was a response. You inflamed matters by posting a video mocking Casanova, which I don't think is a crime, but whatever. It's what rappers do. Next was Chief Keef. He was in New York. You were in L.A. You offered $20,000 to shoot at Chief Keef outside W Hotel. You later gave $10,000. Then you were in L.A. A rival was live streaming in Smurf Village. Jordan offered to shoot. You said okay. So you basically put a contract head on somebody, which is not exactly legal. In that incident in Smurf Village, a woman was shot in the foot. LL, who we heard from today. Next was Snow Billy. Aaron Young shot him, and I sentenced Aaron Young to 20 years. So apparently a buddy of his has already been sentenced to 20 years. So while his buddy gets 20 years, he feels like 13 months time served while he's been ratting on all his buddies is good enough. And a woman, an innocent woman got shot. Keep that in mind. Apart from the number and vengefulness of these acts, there is also that they were to benefit you. Before you, the gang did not fight with rap entourages. They had no independent interest in going after musicians and their management groups. So this basically puts the onus of all these fucking problems on 6 ix doorstep. Who gives a shit who he rats out at that point? This was all him. Here's one of the parts that really gets me. Your first crime, use of a child in a sexual performance. You said the same thing, that older acquaintances were having sexual intercourse with the underage girl. That excuse may have worked once, but it doesn't work twice. So if we're keeping score here, we've got multiple gun crimes, we've got child pornography, pedophilia, and this guy thinks that 13 months is an appropriate is an appropriate sentence for everything that he's done. And this is just the stuff that we know about. Who the hell knows what he's done that we don't know about? In the end, he's going to get two years. He's already served 13 months of it, so he's going to be out in 11 months. And on top of that, he gets 300 hours of community service, a fine of $35,000, and that's pretty much it. The guy's pretty much going to get away with all of the shit, all because he had the money for a lawyer. Uh, you know, people bitch about the justice system all the time. They bitch about it being against minorities, which is not true. They bitch about all of this, that, the other thing. This is the fucking problem. If you can throw a lot of money at a lawyer, you could have sex with a child on camera, shoot at people, get innocent people injured or killed, and walk out with two years of, of, of prison. That's it. Nothing else. If I walk out there and steal a loaf of bread to feed my fucking kids, I could go to the pen for fucking ten years. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, 6 9 got off fucking light. I honestly, I'm so aggravated by the lightness of this of this so-called sentence but i hope he gets fucking capped off in prison he deserves nothing less on the child on the, on sexually accosting a child alone this guy needs to have his fucking head cut off but that's just my opinion good none of the comments below let me know what you guys think i'm sure a lot of you out there who are going to watch this video are going to disagree with what i just said that's fine i don't really give a shit he accosted a child he got innocent people hurt he created shit where there wasn't shit before Quite frankly, the guy's getting off light. So go down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later on tonight.